killed a turkey earlier today. I'm trying to get a pin on Chubbs. One just kicked him off of where we started yesterday morning. I went up here to where I killed a turkey yeah, last year. I just got to hit it. I got a turkey to hit the glass call three times. It's right on the other side of this field. So I am bailing out right now. Gonna hit the bottom and go around him to make sure I don't bump him. But he hit it three times hard. Crushed it, I'm afraid he's coming. So I gotta get off of this knob. We've got about Six thirty-three, right? I mean, seven thirty-three. So we may have an hour, probably less. So surely he's going to be closer right there in the morning. We can hopefully do something with him. Billy, last day of turkey season. We're gonna go, we're gonna let you sit there and surf on the web all morning. I'm ready to go. Are you? Yeah. Let's do it, man. Are we going banana nut this morning or what? Yeah, banana nut all the way. You think you need me to carry? Nope. Ooh, that bond is just... Mm. Lighting you up, ain't it? Been a while, I like it. There you go, Bond. You got plenty of keep you feeling stuff. Keep you feeling refreshed. We're gonna get out of here on last morning, 2018 circuit season. We try to whoop this one. Turn left onto Barrel Road. It is 60. Oh, I don't know we're saying 68. Boy, we better put them gators on this morning. They will circle K. Their best seller is banana bread. What was old Ricky's name? Is it Ricky? Oh uh, man, mine. Mike? He didn't look like a Mike. On the edge of the field that the turkey gobbled on yesterday evening with our fingers crossed that he gobbles this morning. You know the area looks weak. You want to stay down here go go to him? He ain't far in the woods. No, not far at all. I think he'll come down here. Hopefully we just got it. Right on the other side of those. And right in the woods right there. That big pine tree right there is where I was calling from yesterday evening. Got him to gobble. He walked straight over there, obviously. Hey. Right here on the hump. Or do you think we need to go down there? He ain't, man, that, that was that was very clear. Just melt into these woods right behind you. He went straight to you. That's what happened. He ain't in the woods far. Don't think we need to get in these woods right behind you before we do anything. I think he's going to fly down near the field. Yeah. I don't think we need to be impatient. I think we need to just chill. We don't need to force nothing. Mm-hmm. You should have watched him be down there. I had a feeling that joker was already coming to me yesterday when I bailed.
can sit anywhere right here, you know it. Oh, yeah. Boy, this field rolls over, though. It'd be awesome to know whether he's going to go left or right down the edge. I don't think he's going to come down the center. Even though the grass is not that tall and it's pretty thin. I think, I think he's going to come to where the hen is. Yeah, that's right. I think we can start calling out here and throwing the calls down there. I hope he hits the call. That's what I'm talking about. Are you ready? I'm ready. Up here again. I think he's still in the tree. I think so. He could hear us. Straight down the middle. I think we need to put the last to it, don't you? I'm wondering if we need to roll over here. I think he'll come over here. Yeah, I mean. It's this is more broad. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do with my roll. I'm just going to give you a little more eyes. Do you want to go ahead and try it right here? <laughs> He's got to come to this field. I mean, he just he answered that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I ain't been calling loud enough. Yeah. I'm about to kill this. Yeah. Time for me. Yeah. He's definitely in there 60, 75, ain't he? Yeah. He's hitting everything. He's hitting it now. Going to cut into that tree? Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. Right now, he's on the ground now. I'm going to cut a couple of these. He's far enough I can cut down. All his little butt.
that will rattle on him. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Dave? You are very concerned. I can see it. Yeah, you know I don't play conservative ball real well. You want to go over there? It's the last Not one. Not at this point. We got to wait on him now. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're okay. Even yeah, if I mean, this is a perfect spot. It's a perfect set for him. If it ain't gonna happen here, we're still okay. I think we're too close to him making a move. To make a move. Yeah. To make a move. You start, we start hightailing it down the ridge. He's gonna end up right here. He's gonna set his wings and he'll, I mean, he's liable to glide right here. You think he's doing something sneaky? Hmm? Did you think he's doing something sneaky? He ain't with a hand. He's making a hell of a Take this down. Hmm. That changes things. Mm -hmm. He's down there eating, packing their shit, don't you think? Or just sitting there strutting that she's eating the hack and he's just standing there strutting. Let's go kill him. Right. Yeah, it was his yesterday. I blew it out of him when he got hit at that glass call. He gobbled and shot it straight out the back. Yeah. She'll be able to go right to the end and then pop up on him. Hopefully we can lay our eyes on him in the back of that field. We made a big loop and got all the way over here. Time to make a slip down to the top of this field and see if we can put our eyes on him. Hopefully he's still out in that field that we heard him in Goblin. That we heard him Goblin in last. Where's Chubbs? Chubbs is nowhere to be found. Whenever we take a notion to come over here and kill Turkey, you know, come on, I'm ready for you, whatever. Drop a while and he hit this little hump right here. Maybe get ready. Maybe I've never seen such an impatient turkey on it. Yeah. 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 Oh. 
other side of the rock wall. Other side. Huh? Other side of the rock wall in the field. I'm ahead of him, aren't I? Oh, I see him. I thought we was getting ready to pull it off, didn't he? When I saw her coming up that field edge, I said, slam dunk. I mean, I didn't hear no drumming or nothing. Nothing, I didn't hear nothing. It's just like it was two hands. Yeah. And I saw him through the gap there. I thought, well, I'm good. I thought, man, this is going to be awesome. They're going to walk right up the edge of that field, and he's going to plaster him right in that opening down there. Oh, that's the big <laughs> two jakes over in the back of this yard <laughs> that they've been having problems with this turkey getting up in there and getting their flowers so kind of a funny story but we just came through her and he's out there with two jakes just preening so I don't know if we're going to call to him if we're going to be able to use this rock wall and just slip right straight to him either way I feel real good about this Yeah. 
think the lawn bear's going down there. No, I don't think so. It's a broken leg. Thank you. 
was about to give out. <laughs> Good shooting, buddy. Did you notice why I kept delaying? Huh? I was too far back on my on my gun. What do you mean? My barrel was waving. Oh yeah. He had all the time in the world. He's gonna wait till right. Is that a Jake? <laughs> he ain't got no spurs. He's missing spurs. That's the one with the broke leg you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. He's a little thing, ain't he? Oh, we didn't have no little head. Hey. You don't, you don't have to do this. First June paper, huh? Oh, it's June the 2nd. Yep. Hey, you hate doing that, but you gotta do them however you can do it. Did you? I'm so glad we got found another one since you screwed that first this one up, that one up this morning. Tell us how I screwed that one up. Over conservative. Oh, yeah. This turkey needed to go, boss. Yeah, he did. We, you think he'll weigh 10 pounds? <laughs> did you see him out there oh, standing yeah. all bowed up? Which leg was it? I think it was his left. Hey, you say what you want, but I'm glad we didn't try to call them in. They may have come. And they may have just let them know where he's at. When I got a situation like that, I'd rather just... I'd say to play the safe card. Heck yeah. He ain't gonna weigh 20, bull. <laughs> but I'm tickled pink. Let me look at that leg, see if we can figure out what's wrong with you, it. Uh, is it something internal or is the leg itself looks all right, doesn't it? I don't know. I mean, I was literally... So this, this landowner we were introduced to, or I was introduced to last year and he had a gobbler his wife has to chase them off from her flower bed up here because they come and scratch all the pine straw and stuff out. And she's like, I wish you'd kill them because they mess in my yard and all this. And I ended up killing a couple of birds and not getting over here last year. And then this year he said, yeah, they're back. And he said, there's one with a broke leg. I, said, I wish you'd kill that one with a broke leg. And we just cruised by here just a while ago after that debacle this morning where we didn't kill that turkey somehow. And, uh, and there he stood, him and two Jakes. We slipped up here. I knew this place was going to be bad medicine for him if I, if I ever caught him out here because it falls down right off the back of his yard. And he's got like a, you can see these apple trees. He's got like an apple orchard out in the back. I guess we're maybe 100 yards from his house or so, but they watch him out here. And uh, sure enough, we slipped out here and found him. You need a cigar or you got one? I got one. I don't even think we're gonna need to strap him up. Pull, pull right out. You wanna pull right in here and get him? That'd be lazy, wouldn't it? Hey, just get me at the house. Been Bro, it's like 50 more yards <laughs> to the car. Yeah. The first turkeys we killed this year is about as wild as you could possibly get. And these are about as unwild. We don't. We're, we're not. We're not prejudiced. We'll kill them. Talking about them two with, on the first day. Oh no 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 no. Florida. Florida. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Absolutely. Mm. These turkeys here live a little in a little closer proximity to people. Got it. Well, I can say with certainty that this will be the last cigar for 2018. Let's do it.
I just can't imagine being a long beard, being June the second, waking up on the roost and looking at my clock and it going, dang, day's June second. <laughs> Made another one. Dang, I don't even. What time did we kill that turkey? Do, do you know? Thirty minutes ago. About thirty minutes ago. It's late. You know, late this morning, huh? Mm-hmm. Ten thirty. Ten forty. Coming across that field back there, I looked at that camera. I said, "They in a bad spot." I feel pretty good about this. Did you? Yeah, yeah. they were in a bad spot. <laughs> I've already got. Oh, it I'm wiping out. my eyes. We crawled all through poison oak. I got. Uh, yeah, maybe that's why I mentioned. Um, June. Let's see. We still have a reason to smoke a cigar on June the second. <laughs> it's June 2nd. We've chased it as long as they'll let us chase it. I never would have thought it had been this dry. God, I thought this grass would age slide. Yep, yep, yep. Normally is. Remember that first year we came up oh here? Oh my God, I Trying I to walk across that pasture? I can't believe those uh, boots of mine made it. Well, folks, you're watching us smoke the last cigar over a dead gobbler for 2018, and it is a somber feeling. I guess that's the word. It's a... Uh, I want to cry. I don't want to quit. It's fun to smoke the cigar and celebrate the experience that you just shared, but in the same sense, I wish your cigar was about this long. Don't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. I was just sitting here thinking that because, like, it's getting scary close. Scary close. Been a, it's been a long spring, March 3rd to June 2nd. God, remember that feeling of jumping in the truck on March 3rd? Mm. You came down the 2nd. I came down. When did I come down? The you second. came down 2nd. Yeah, I just came down later than you. Yeah. That's right. But that feeling that when you jump in the truck, you're just giddy. You got everything packed. I'm really rubbing your hands together. Cause you know it's starting. It's starting. Yeah. And you're fixing to get to swing the bat every single day for the next nearly three months. I think I, what did I have when I came home? I had, what, over a week of just listening, right? Yep. That was kind of brutal. Cause you boys were down there absolutely living the dream. Every day I was getting some picture. I was like, God, man. Every day you can get up and get get after them. It's fun. It's been a blast. I've been traded it for the world. This uh, Pinhoti project deal with the cameras and stuff definitely was new. Um, we'll see how it all comes together here in the up, upcoming months of editing and going through this pile of footage. There's going to be some stuff on there that's good. Quite a bit that's not. I think you said it best yesterday. You gotta crawl before you walk. You don't just go buy a shotgun and a mouth helper and go out there and start whooping them. Well, I guess that can be said. Same can be said for video with them, huh? Me and you've been doing it for a long time and we struggle and have our peaks and valleys. And this morning was a prime example. I tried to tell you we needed to get down there on that other end. Butted heads, and I was right. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Now we, I'm just kidding. We absolutely. This was too conservative. Still had fun though, didn't you? Oh, I love hearing one gobble that much. Man, and, and when he got, when he came up to the edge of the field, and you were like, Oh, I thought he was going to make an appearance. I thought we were going to see him come walking out there with that yep. head just sticking straight up. Yep. And gobble. Your eyes hurt? No, I'm just scared to wipe it with anything because we crawl through the poison up. Well, you want us some hand wipes and yeah, sanitizer uh, wipes to clean I'll your hands? It. I'll get it. It'll be all right. He was worth it. 
I hear people all the time, it's like, whoa, it's finally over. Looking forward to getting some rest, looking forward to doing a little fishing. Time to start on the honeydews. Yep, <laughs> get that honeydew list. Well, let me tell you one thing that you will never hear come out of my mouth. I think I can probably speak for you as well. Oh, absolutely. Never will I ever say, man, glad to be doing a little more sleeping. Glad to finally catch up on my sleep. Man, you can sleep anytime. I was sitting there thinking today, man. I wish they'd just give me one more week. I'd, I'd like to have one more morning, especially looking at the forecast. Yep. My land. Oh, it's been fun. But as you can tell, as happy as we're trying to be because we just killed a gobbler. I don't want to leave. I don't want to go we know what home. tomorrow is. Yeah. Tomorrow is the first morning in three months that it's not going to be turkey season. But you have and there's to no <laughs> way to sugarcoat that. And you know, you, you know what's going to be worse than tomorrow? Monday. Monday's going to be bad. Because it's not like you can go home Monday evening and get up and go turkey hunting Tuesday morning. I think the older I get, it's just, you, you know, when you were younger, turkey season seemed like it lasted a long time. And time was more manageable. Seems like yesterday I videoed you shooting that turkey down in Big Cypress. Oh my God. Seems like yesterday. <laughs> you know what the Chubster's gonna do today? Drink some suds? We'll go over next to that pizza joint, that ice cream stand, I'm gonna get me a homemade milkshake. I had a milkshake this whole season. That's not a lie. Not. Not one milkshake. Not a Frosty, not a McDonald's milkshake, nothing. What? Promise. I only ate out one time when I went to the Northeast. I'm glad it ain't cloudy. Why, do you think lightning would come through those clouds? Uh -huh. You're crazy. <laughs> And we did close. I promise I have them. It's gonna be the last one right here. You bring your tackle box. With a bit of my carry on. Man alive, I can't believe it's over. Gosh dang it. Will probably look at us and go, God, I bet they're dang wore out and tired, and I bet they're glad it's over. Uh -uh. They did it so much, I bet they are wore out. Dude, if people only knew we had 40 something minutes of sleep and we went all freaking no, day. All day. <laughs> and then we got four hours the next night, four and a half, four and a half last night, maybe five. Now, yesterday's one of the worst days I've seen you in a long time. That you was were pretty gassed. Worthless yesterday. That was gassed. Usually, even if you kill a turkey, you've got more wind than you had yesterday. That was the gas. Sometimes it happens, man. Because when I'm awake, it's draining for me because I'm thinking. I'm strategizing. Or insult. It's not like you. It's just like... <laughs> bouncing through the day. Like I've always got wheels turning. It's oh, man. like the, the, the fuel level is always being... Oh, yeah. Well, your tank ain't that big. <laughs> I think everywhere we've been, we've run into Jake's, haven't we? Yeah, seems like it's going to be a good season next year. Can't wait till next year. You going to do a little turkey hunt next year? Oh, it hurts. I don't care about fishing. I don't care about planting food plots. I don't care about mowing fields, cutting hay. Paper tuning bows. Paper tuning bows. I don't care about none of it. I don't care about catching up with the honeydew list. I don't beach have a honeydew list. Yeah, a beach trip. Fishing trips. Fishing trips and beach trips. All I want to do tomorrow morning is go turkey hunting, Chubbs, and, and I can't do it. Day. Next day would be nice. I guess we need to up our gym membership. Pontoon boats. I still don't get it. <laughs> I just want to go turkey hunting in the morning. Can you turkey hunt from a pontoon? Trail cameras, getting that summer velvet footage. You better get busy getting that summer velvet footage. Who's got the hot new bow? Hey, guess what? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, just a couple old turkey hunters venting about the end of the season being on upon us. We can't be happy about nothing right now. Tomorrow's a rough day, and the next day's even worse.